Hello everyone and welcome to another Intro to Signal Analysis video. Today's topic is how to sketch signals of this form. x of t is equal to a cosine 2 pi f0 t plus phi. So let's get started. First we should recall what a plot of the signal a cosine 2 pi f0 t looks like. So that's the signal we talked about on the previous slide but without the phase shift. So this is a standard cosine wave with an amplitude of a, meaning its maximum height is a, and its minimum height is minus a, and it has a period of t0. What do we mean by a period of t0? That means it takes t0 seconds to go through one cycle. So this is t0 right here. Um, so it takes t0 seconds to go through one cycle, and t0 is the inverse of the frequency in hertz, so it's 1 over f0. So that's what a standard cosine wave looks like. It starts off at its peak, goes through a cycle um, in t0 seconds, and then continues onward. So now, if we're going to try and sketch the phase-shifted cosine, we can look at it like this, and it's easier if we rewrite this. So we're going to rewrite as a cosine. Now we're going to pull a 2 pi f0 out of everything. So I'm going to write 2 pi f0 t plus phi over 2 pi f0. So this is exactly the same thing as I had before. All I've done is rewritten it in a slightly different way. If I multiply all this back through, I get that. Now I can rearrange this just a little bit more and recognize that this, the phase shift basically corresponds to a time shift. So I can rewrite as a cosine 2 pi f0 t plus t1, where t1 is equal to phi over 2 pi f0. And we know that if t1 is greater than 0, we're going to be shifting left. That's from some of our conversations in class. And if t1 is t1 is less than 0, we shift to the right. So signals of, the for of this form are actually pretty easy to sketch. Once we know the amplitude and the frequency, that tells us what the basic wave looks like, and then we just either shift that right or shift that left depending on the value of t1. So let's see a couple of examples. Okay, so here's the example we're going to take a look at. We're going to try and sketch x of t is 4 cosine 2 pi a half t plus pi over 3. So the first thing we want to note is, well, what's the amplitude? Well, the amplitude is a is equal to 4, right? And what's the frequency? The frequency f0 is equal to 1 half. So that tells us that t0, the period, will be the inverse of that, which will be 2 seconds. So we can go ahead and sketch the standard one without the phase shift first to just give us an idea of what we're looking at. So let's go ahead and sketch two periods of that. So we're gonna, we've got two periods, so we have to sketch one period will be from zero, minus 2 to 0, and the next period will be from 0 to 2. Okay, and so we know it's a standard cosine. It has an amplitude of 4. Um, which means at 0, it's going to be equal to 4. It's going to go through one cycle and come back up and be equal um, to 4 again at 2. And similarly, it goes through another cycle to the left, and the negative values are minus 4. Okay, um, so um, we can see that halfway through the cycle is at 1, and that's when it's at its um, maximum negative point. Okay, so that's the standard cosine. That's without the phase shift. So this is a sketch of 4 cosine 2 pi 1 half t. All right, now we have to figure out, well, what is the time shift that corresponds to this phase shift? So we just rewrite our signal. We rewrite 4 cosine 2 pi 1 half t plus pi over 3. 
uh, we can rewrite that as 4 cosine 2 pi 1 half t plus um, pi over 3 divided by 2 pi times 1 half. Well, 2 pi times a half is just pi, so all of this is going to cancel with the pi. So we're left with 4 cosine 2 pi 1 half t plus 1 third. Okay, so that suggests that we um, simply are shifting our cosine wave a third of a second, a third of a second, to the left, since this is positive right here. Okay, so we're going to take this plot and shift it by a third of a second to the left. Okay, so let me draw another graph down here. And so this is zero, this is two, just putting some bars on here. And I'm going to split each one of these up into thirds um, so that I can better sketch my sine wave. All right, so this is, we said, a shift of one-third of a second to the left. So we basically take this plot and shift it a third of a second to the left. So now the peak that was at zero is going to be at minus one-third. So the peak is going to be at value of four at minus one-third. Okay, um, and that also means that the next peak here is going to be a third to the left of two. So that's going to be right there. And this minimum here, the minimum here now shifts a third to the left as well. So the minimum is going to be at two thirds instead of at one. So that gives me some points uh, to kind of aim for as I draw. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and draw my one cycle. It's going to come down here and it's going to come back up. And similarly, um, if I look to the left, right, everything shifts a third to the left. So now the peak over here is going to be at uh, minus two and a third. So it's really there. And the minimum is going to be at minus one and a third. So that's right here. So that gives me some points to aim for. Okay. It's not real symmetric there, but I've marked a few points, so hopefully that's um, helpful to you. So all we've done is we've taken this plot right here, which was 4 cosine 2 pi half t, and shifted everything to the left by a third. So now all of the peaks and valleys shift by um, to the left by one third. Um, so we have the plot that we're looking for. Okay, so let's try another example. All right, now here I'm going to encourage you to pause the video and to actually work through this example on your own um, before you watch me work through it. Okay, hopefully you pause the video um, and now we can take a look at what we've got for this one. The amplitude is a half, that's easy to see, and the frequency is three. So let's just write that out. Amplitude is one half. And the frequency F0 is equal to 3, which means that T0 is equal to a third of a second. Okay, so now we've got to first sketch a cosine that has an amplitude of a half and a frequency of 3 with a period of a third of a second. Um, so let's go ahead and sketch a couple periods of this. Um, so it'll repeat every one-third of a second. So let's sketch two periods here. Okay, um, that's at minus one-third. Okay, um, so go ahead and sketch. So it has an amplitude of a half and a period of a third of a second. Okay, and it continues forever. So the amplitude's a half, so the minimum is minus a half. Okay, and the minimum occurs halfway through the, the cycle, which is at one-sixth of a second, since the full period is a third of a second. So that's a plot of one-half cosine two pi 
3t. Now we just have to figure out how much we're going to shift this. So we'll rewrite 1 half cosine 2 pi 3t minus pi minus pi. We can rewrite that as 1 half cosine 2 pi 3t minus pi over 2 pi 3. Right, we get exactly the same thing. And what does that tell us? Well, minus pi over 2 pi 3 is going to be minus 1 sixth. Okay, so we have a shift of a sixth of a second, and since it's negative here, the shift is to the right. So now we're going to pick this up and shift it by a sixth of a second to the right, and that's what we're going to sketch down here. So here's minus a third, zero, one-third. I'll mark the minus one-sixth and the one, whoops, and one-sixth right there. Okay, um, so all right, so now we have to shift this thing by a sixth of a second to the right. So now the peak is going to show up at one-sixth of a second. So it's going to be its maximum value at a sixth of a second. And we're shifting from the left um, a sixth of a second. So this minimum here is going to now show up at zero. So the minimum value is going to show up at zero. And then it's going to be back to a minimum at one-third of a second. Similarly, okay. So now we've got our plot. All we did was pick this plot up and shift it by a sixth of a second to the right. Um, and what you notice is we, it basically corresponds to negating um, this signal up here, right? We're just flipping it, um, flipping its sign, which is what happens when you shift a cosine by a factor, a, a phase shift of pi. Um, you would expect a sign change. Um, but we got there by just figuring out what the time shift was, taking our original plot, and then shifting it um, by that amount of time shift. So these plots are pretty easy to do. If you do the first sketch, which just shows the standard cosine, then you figure out the time shift, and then you just shift your first plot um, by the specified time shift. Okay, so that concludes our video for today. Um, this video was made for a course at George Mason University. If you want to find out more information about Mason, the Volgino School of Engineering, the ECE department, or me, you can check out these websites. Thanks for watching.